Okay, so this is the track we're going to be working on. It's sort of a progressive house track. And as you've noticed, I've sort of gone through and quite um, carefully colored everything. Um, almost everything's named. Let's just rename this drum GRP, it's drum grip. Um, We've got everything nicely colored, nicely arranged. We've got markers in for each of our main sections. And this just helps to quickly find where things are. So before you even approach the mixing technical side, it's a good idea to just get some um, housekeeping done and, and make sure that you have everything laid out nicely so you can see it. I generally work drums, bass, um, sort of pads and synths, main leads, and then go into, into more atmospheres and effects, and then vocals in the middle, and they sort of have a general color coding for, for all those things. Um, I should actually just color these white because these are effects, I like to keep them. And there we go. And we will be going through and grouping some of this stuff up together as we progress. But what I want to talk about now is gain staging. So if we play our track, you'll notice that we have to have our uh, master fader down, otherwise um, it's going to be bouncing into the reds. And this is a very common occurrence when once you've started producing a track, your faders can creep up and you're, you're then having to adjust the master fader so it doesn't go into red. So what we want to do is try and rebalance that. And a very easy way to do it is if you select one of the tracks, do Control A or Command A, depending on Mac or PC, and that'll just select all the tracks. And now we have the ability to just move all the faders at once. So we're just gonna play the track. I wanna get our master fader up to the top. And we wanna be aiming to have about minus six dB left of headroom. And this will do two things. This should, and actually what we'll do, I'm gonna do this. Once if stuff's in a group, it doesn't actually change the volume. So what I'm gonna do is do the same thing here. I'm gonna bring these faders down and just bring the group fader up. And now what we've got is a situation where most of our faders are in around the midpoint. We've got room to go up and room to go down. And we've got about 6 dB left in our master fader. So that helps with a few things. I'll give you an example of um, how it sort of can affect going into plugins. So we've got our kick, for example. And you can see on the kick as well that um, we've got so much gain going into the kick that it's actually going beyond the fader point. And if we were to turn this right up to zero dB, we're just instantly getting distortion. So let's have a, another look at that. If we go into a, a plugin, for instance, like drum bus, it's just distorting that instantly. And this is uh, just because this track, the gain on it's so high. So I've um, done that on purpose to sort of give you an example. And um, we've been using the compressor makeup gain. So if I take that off, add the limiter on, and we can even just bring that back about 6 dB. So now when our fader's up at the top, we've still got plenty of, of headroom. We could even add, take a bit more gain off. And again, this is just to give us some headroom so we can um, have some somewhere to move the fader. So we can de delete that drum bus, we don't need it. Okay, so now we're gonna go through and just check some of our other tracks and um, we'll do a sort of very basic balance. So you can see our, our um, bass is going over the fader so we can just bring that back and generally speaking you want to be using the sort of volumes inside the source to do this 
and I just want it sort of in and around that theater area if, it can, if I can. I don't want it going over anyway. And that's kind of as high as we can get it there, so there's no point trying to do more to that. And if you're noticing any of the plugins that are on here, these are plugins that have been automated, so they're not really part of the mix as such. Um, they're sort of more part of the production side of things. Um, those vocals are a bit low, but we'll deal with them later on. And we'll just do a very basic balance as well, so... Um, and what I'm really just looking for here is that thing we were talking about previously. Uh, you know, I have a, an idea in my head of kind of roughly where kicks should sit, where hats should sit, and that's based on me referencing tracks previously and just having a sort of idea in my mind. Um, there's no one idea fits all. It's really more about referencing, as we talked about in, in the previous videos. <laughs> Very, very simple balancing. Um, and again, we're really just looking for that gain staging where we've got. Take these off. So that's our gain staging. Um, I'll cover the main points again. You want to make sure that wherever your faders are here that you've got a bit of headroom on the master. And this will help ultimately when you go to, if you want to put any processing on the master bus, you don't want the gain too high, otherwise it can uh, go into distortion, especially if you're using some analog modeled stuff. So you want to give a bit of headroom there. And then you also want to have some room to move your faders if you want to bring them up and down. And you want to make sure that none of your individual channels are um, going above the fader or going over the zero point mark. Again, that'll affect how uh, it's going into plugins and you could actually distort things. And then we've just done a very basic balance, just sort of moving some volume controls to get a, a very rough balanced mix. And then in the next video, we're going to take a look at some high pass EQing and how we can sort of start to um, impose our ideas in terms of frequency onto our tracks. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please We'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.